friends, what is up? If you're new here, my name is Kristen. Hey, how's it going? And today, I'm so excited. I am going to be trying this stuff. Good catch tuna, vegan tuna, fishless. No fish were harmed in the making of this. I've been following them on Instagram for at least a year and have been so excited to try this stuff. I went to Whole Foods, so they sell this at Whole Foods and Thrive Market, which is basically like Costco for natural foods online. And I went to Whole Foods because I'm not a member of Thrive Market. I went the day they said it would be out because I was ready, I was ready to make a video, taste test it, have it ready, and of course, they didn't have it. <laughs> Someone said they did, so I went there, and then when I got there, someone else said, uh, no, we don't have it. So, now I have it, and we're going to try it. So it's got 90 calories for a pouch, 3% fat of your daily value, 2.5 grams, 450 milligrams of sodium, so a little high there, 5 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of protein, so not too bad for this little pouch, that's a lot actually. Oh, and then for the protein blend, it's pea protein, soy protein, chickpea, lentil, faba, and navy bean. So that's kind of the blend here. So let's go try this out. I'm so excited. So I'm going to make a tuna salad. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put it on bread. I was gonna make a sandwich, but let's just try the tuna salad. I have a chipotle mayo, follow your heart brand. Vegan A's, of course, vegan. And let's try this out. Here we go. Okay, so let's mix this up with uh, some mayo, and I'll try it without mayo too. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna be honest, kinda looks like dog food, but I also haven't had tuna in a while. But, I do have to say, I loved fish. So, before I was vegetarian and vegan and all that jazz, I loved fish. I would have tuna all the time as a kid, like tuna salad, getting tuna from like a can, mixing it with mayo. So I'm gonna try it without any mayo. I don't know, it just doesn't smell that great, but let's try it. Mm. Texture wise, it's not exactly like tuna from what I remember it. Tuna's a little bit softer. But for a vegan tuna, I think it's pretty good. Vegan Fish items suck. They are just not good. <laughs> the Gardein crabless cakes, amazing. If you're gonna try any like faux fish product, that stuff is great. This does pretty well. I'm gonna try it with mayo because I feel like I would never eat tuna just plain like this anyways. So once I try it with mayo, I feel like it'll be good. Let's do that real quick. But I do have to say it's not bad. So, I use Follow Your Heart Vegan A's. It's the best stuff in the world. I could eat this plain, which is pretty gross, but I love this stuff. I've always been like a creamy fat lover, so this stuff does the job very well. So let's try it. So yeah, plain, but also like plain tuna is also kind of gross too, so this isn't gross, it's just like I wouldn't choose this over like a chickpea salad, I guess. But with mayo, my opinion may change. So I'm using a whole dollop of mayo, so that's a lot of mayo. 
But yeah, texture wise, it's just not exactly like tuna. It's just like a little thicker than tuna. This chipotle mayo has been my guilty pleasure lately. So I've been putting it on everything. So let's try it. I mean, it's not bad. Honestly, props to them for conquering fish because vegan fish, I can tell it's just super hard to make because everyone pretty much fails at it. This stuff is, I don't know, like it's not, it's not exactly like tuna, but I would recommend it because there's no other like vegan tuna that's good on the market from what I've heard. I don't try every like faux meat product on the market because honestly, I only wanna have the stuff that's actually good and has pretty good reviews. This, I've been following them for so long, so I wanted to try it. I mean, it's interesting. I got the plain flavor. There's also like an olive oil and herbs or something like that, and there's a Mediterranean flavor. So I'll have to give those a try as well. But this is just their plain flavor, mix it with some mayo. I mean, if I put this on a sandwich with like some lettuce, I put a little lemon juice on it, some like black pepper, a little salt, some tomatoes, a little avocado, I feel like that would be really good. Just on its own, nay nay. But honestly, I could see that being really good. It's like a really good source of like protein and omega-3s got that in here but again it's not exactly the texture and consistency of tuna tuna is a little softer but honestly pretty darn good so I'd give it an 8 out of 10 if I put it on something on its own I feel bad giving it a 6 out of 10 but I just like I wouldn't choose this over chickpeas, I guess, because chickpeas are a lot less expensive, and obviously this is gonna have more protein, more omega-3s and all that jazz than chickpeas, but that's my honest review. So I could easily see this being on a sandwich and like picking this up every once in a while, but I don't know. I feel like I'm being harsh. Like I'm really proud of this company for conquering vegan fish, because honestly, this is pretty good for a vegan fish, and it doesn't have that like super fishy, like flavor either that like some others do um and i know they put i think they put seaweed in this to give it that kind of fishy flavor but yeah okay update the more i eat it the more it tastes like tuna i'm getting that kind of fish flavor let's keep eating this yeah if you were like a fish fiend all right if you were a tuna fiend before you like went vegetarian or vegan, I would recommend this stuff for sure. Like it'll give you that tuna fix. But if you could like care less about tuna, this isn't gonna like blow you away obviously because this will remind you of tuna. So I did wanna say like if I was trying to help someone be vegan, this probably wouldn't be like the first food I would show them. Like I'd probably have them try like the Beyond Meat Burger or the Impossible Burger or something like that. It's just not that high up there on like the faux meat list of mine. But I think it's awesome to be supporting vegan companies. Vegan fish is so hard to make and they honestly did a pretty good job. I think I just like, like my taste buds have changed just cause I feel like when I went vegan I really changed up my diet and what I normally ate. So that probably has to do with it too, but it's like good, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's also in like a pouch, so I'd have to throw it away and that's not very sustainable. And I try to not buy a lot of like faux meat vegan products just because they typically are in plastic and you have to throw it away. And they're also just more expensive to buy, so I don't wanna buy them all the time, so. Yeah, I'm trying to reduce my plastic consumption because that's more sustainable. And so buying that all the time would not be great because I'd be throwing those pouches away. So, but ultimately support vegan companies because they're doing awesome things. And if you were a tuna fiend, 
that should help with your cravings. So I just wanted to say that as well. If you are eating fish, why should you kind of slowly stop eating fish? First of all, why do I not eat fish? I could not kill a fish. Um, I remember I went fishing once with my uncles as a child and it lasted maybe like five minutes. And then I saw the fish like kind of suffocating um, once you caught them and it really freaked me out. And I don't know, I just, I just don't like killing animals and I think it's gross. So there's that, hence why I'm vegan. <laughs> and when you are eating fish, I think the statistic is like one in three or four fish has plastic in it because they are kind of lower on the food chain in the oceans. A lot of our plastic ends up in the ocean and over time aquatic life is going to be eating plastic and that plastic ends up in fish and if you eat the fish you are also eating the plastic. Fish are also overfished. There's no actual like sustainable fishing. Like yes, there is a practice of sustainable fishing, but if you look at all of the science, we are overfishing our oceans and if we continue to do so, there is going to be more plastic in the oceans and then there are fish and we need our oceans ecosystems to be lively and living and thriving because if our oceans aren't thriving, then all of us on land are not gonna be thriving because obviously the ocean takes up more of the earth. So that's some little tidbits to think about next time you eat fish if you do and if you're not vegan, so. Just gotta throw that out there. So anyways, if you guys have tried this, comment down below and let me know what you think. Am I being too harsh on this? Cause I feel like I kind of am, but that's my honest opinion. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have other ideas of what I should put this on, let me know. Cause all I'm thinking is like a tuna salad sandwich. I don't know, that's all I'm thinking. So if you guys haven't subscribed, it would mean so much to me if you guys would hit that subscribe button down below and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!